I made a video explaining what is masculinity and femininity. This person asked uh, how uh, biology or hormones play into that. And the answer is it doesn't really unless you want it to. So there's a lot of confusion between sex and gender. I'm going to break it down really easy. So the way we classify a person's sex is ultimately decided by their gametes or their reproductive cells. If they've got big cells, we call those eggs and they're assigned female. If they have smaller cells, we call those sperm and they're assigned male. That is their sex as far as science is concerned. That is not how we determine if someone's a boy or a girl. Boy, girl, man, woman, these are social words. They're not scientific. When a baby's born, the doctor isn't testing his gametes. They're not testing his chromosomes to see if he's XX, XY, XXY, XYY, whatever. None of those, that's not happening. The doctor goes, huh, this looks like a boy. Boy, that, that's it. That's the same thing we do when we're out and about. You're not checking people's gametes or chromosomes. You're going, that looks like a boy, probably a boy. Now, the way you present what you look like to everyone else is called your gender expression. And you can choose how you present. It's not, oh, I want to look like a boy or, oh, I want to look like a girl. It's, I want to look like me, whatever feels comfortable for you. If that look is more associated with what we consider masculine, we call it mask presenting. If it's more feminine, we call it fem presenting. Your hormones can affect your gender expression. They affect how much body hair you grow, how tall you get, all that stuff. But sometimes what our hormones give us doesn't match the way we feel. Maybe somebody wants to be taller or have bigger or smaller boobs, so they get surgery. Maybe somebody wants permanent eyeshadow, so they get it tattooed. Maybe somebody doesn't want to grow facial hair, so they laser treat it. You can change the way that you express yourself so that your hormones don't get in the way of you feeling like you. So the way your hormones affect your masculinity or femininity is mostly based on how you choose to present them to the world. Now, there are behavioral elements to hormones, like testosterone is associated with aggression and stuff like that. But because the way that we behave is so overwhelmingly influenced by the environment that we grew up in, I feel like your hormones play a much more significant part in your presentation than they do in your behavior. I hope this answers your question.